Good man. I feel like today was a solid day, Russell, for you? Definitely. I mean, I, I putted really well. Um, left myself in, in some good spots to make some birdies um, and had some really nice par saves and scrambled well. So um, did a lot of good things. You, you've talked about the putting so much this week, how good it's been. And you talked about how the last couple of years it hasn't been as, as good, even though early in your career it really was. Did that, like when you kind of lost a little bit, did you, did you ever lose confidence in it coming back or did you feel like it, it's just kind of cyclical a little bit? Oh, I definitely lost confidence. I lost, I lost confidence in everything. Um, and so, you know, I, I had my moments where I would uh, keep my card, which was um, just so great. I remember at one point uh, I was 160 something on the FedEx a couple years ago and had a good week at John Deere. So just trying to keep grinding even when you don't feel good about it. That's really the key out here. Um, and yeah, I'm starting to feel better. I'm working with Ramon Visconza and um, on my putting and He's really helped me. Um, he's really he's kept it really simple with me, which is what I need. Um, and I just feel like some you know some putts this week are, are going in, and so um, you know, I'm thankful. You talked about me, obviously now you're a father. You have two young children. Is that kind of different perspective now with golf as well? Definitely. Uh, two kids. Uh, hopefully we can have a few more. Um, but yeah, I don't have to have this. You know, I mean, I I love to play. I love to practice and compete, but. At the end of the day, I don't have to to do well, you know, um, and it, it's just great to have them on the road with me. And um, anytime they get to travel is awesome. And just being a dad is, is the best. So um, definitely a perspective change. And to go home, you know, my two year old son doesn't know what I shot today, even if I shot 85. So uh, it's it's nice and it's a, it's a sweet blessing. Mate, you had the, you had the hammer down today. Will that be the plan tomorrow, or you try to temper yourself? Like you've got a, a cushion, but there's chance guys can come at you yeah and anybody can come at anybody can come at me I mean some eight unders and seven unders this week I shot six under the first day I mean you can go low out here the greens are great and it, it's gettable but you got to play well um, to do that you got to do everything well so um, I got to just keep my head down and play a good round for me I mean you know there's so much golf to be played this is just uh, a break we're taking um, and I'm just gonna try to keep doing it are you the type of guy to set a target number given where you are on the board no, I don't think I'm smart enough to do that. <laughs> Wait. You got, well, is, is there any one of your wins that, that you've maybe drawn more, like when you get in these positions? So I, I still remember back at the, the Sony Open when you made all those putts coming around the yeah. stretch, you made all those birdies. Is there any one moment in those wins that you kind of put in your mind when you come into Yeah, so the Sony, um, I was so nervous playing with Tim Clark and Scott Langley that last day. Um, just, so, I don't, honestly, I can't believe some of the putts went in. I was so nervous. Gosh, what was that? eight years ago um and then the honda you know you just kind of holding on for dear life when i won in that playoff um but the, in houston when i won my the last one i had i felt like i i was just playing solid the whole day and, and went out and attacked the course um and i feel like that's what you have to do out here i mean it's pretty rare where you can just go out and um you know just try to make a par on every hole i mean you have to you have to be aggressive um and take your chances when you when you can thanks russell play well yeah, tomorrow thanks appreciate it